Hi everybody, I'm Lori from Dee's, and today we have this fun dragonfly kit. It's going to be available at shopdeeslouisville.com. It's really quick and easy to make, and I just love the colors. So, of course, like everything that we have, everything will be available in your kit. You're going to receive this beautiful dragonfly, and... We have this pretty little wildflower pick that has a nice little assortment of different flowers and greeneries. And this clematis spray that's really pretty that we're going to mix in. And we have three fun ribbons picked out to do this project. And you'll receive your wire to go with it. So let's get started. So to begin, I'm going to take a piece of my cloth covered wire. And I'm just going to want to run it right here on this left side of the dragonfly. And we're just gonna let that kind of stay in there. And I'm gonna start off with my wildflower stem. And of course, we wanna trim this off. And then I always like to dip it into the glue just because it's that paper stem and we don't want it to come apart on us. So you'll dip that to make that stay together. And then we're gonna put a little bit more glue on there. And I'm just going to go right up in here and attach that right there. We're going to pull a few pieces around, just like so. And I've kind of angled mine going across so you'll still be able to see his tail. But you can do it any direction that you like. And I've still got my wire intact there, too. Next, we're going to take this pretty stem and... We're gonna take this in one chunk. You're gonna see, you're gonna have this piece and you've got this long piece. So I'm gonna snip it right in between there. And we're gonna take these longer pieces and we're gonna extend these downward. So we're just gonna tuck these right up in here with our glue. And then you can fluff these up. And then on some of these, I go through and I just kind of bend the flower right there on that paper stem. It Otherwise it angles this way and I like to be able to see the color. So you can just kind of go through and just kind of bend that on that wire and that will bring that up so you can see that pretty color. And here's another one here. And then we're going to take our short stems and I'm gonna cut these apart so we'll have this one and we'll have this one. And you can make these a little shorter if you want, but I'm just gonna put a little glue and tuck this one right up in here. And again, I'm just gonna kind of bend that stem just a little bit so that pretty color can show. And I'm gonna take the shorter one and we're gonna pop it right over in to here. So now we've got all of our flowers placed. I'm gonna go through and we're gonna make our bow. So with the Rick Rack, I'm gonna start with that first. I'm just gonna leave a little tail and we're gonna make a pretty bow. One loop each side. We're gonna add this polka dot. So again, I'm gonna leave a tail Pinch and gather, twist, pinch and gather, twist, pinch and gather. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this really cute little check. Again, pinch and gather, twist, pinch and gather, twist, pinch and gather. So I'm going to take my Rick Rack and I'm going to trim this one about that length. And we're going to take the remaining piece that we have and find the halfway point and put that back behind. And that's going to be our nice, pretty long tails. So you can take some wire and wire this off. Pull that nice and tight. And then we're going to go up in here and place our bow. And the wire that we put in there in the beginning, we are going to use that wire to attach our bow nice and tight into our piece. Just pull that nice and tight. 
and it's going to keep it nice and snug in our arrangement. And then we're going to straighten up our ribbons here. You can fluff up your greeneries. And then the most important part, we need to trim our tails. So we're gonna trim this one. We've got our long ones here. Fold these edges together, trim that one. And trim this one. We have another one over here. And I think that, one more. Okay, then you can take your tails that are long and you can always just kind of roll them up and then pull them down and they'll kind of curl for you. And it's just a pretty easy, nice addition that you can make. And then you have created this beautiful dragonfly that's ready to hang up on your wall or your door. So quick and easy, you can find this kit at shopdsloyville.com. Thanks for tuning in.